hi this is Shadi today's video is about Sambo and to a lot of people it can seem like a marriage between judo and wrestling however it is far more richer the people that made up the Soviet Union the Turkic people the people from the Caucasus, all had very rich wrestling cultures and of course they integrated that into Sambo and today we're gonna see unique throws not found in the Gokyo and uh, I should say that they are very creative and I liked looking at them you can somewhat put them in the Gokyo but at the same time they're still very much unique so the first technique it's gonna be handled by none other than Vlad Kulikov from Sambo Fusion I will let him discuss the first technique and of course I will be adding my own commentary to it. So here we go. Hey guys, how are you? Vlad Kulikov here with KGA Kulikov Gatan Academy with Sambo, Jiu Jitsu and Judo and Wrestling and other things. Guys, uh, Shaji, Shaji, thank you very much. I'm featured on your channel yet again. Guys, channel is outrageous, dedicated to history of grappling and Jiu Jitsu in particular. And I was privileged uh, that Shaji asked me to talk about stretching or oh, upshot which is a Uchimata counter, okay guys? And uh, let's look at uh, the topic in detail. Okay, uh, let's slow down once again. Uh, go ahead, Uchimata. Good. Okay guys, problem freeze. So what happens guys, if he threw me clean, right? If it's not a Ken Ken Uchimata, I'm out of equation. So we also operate another presumption that I kind of caught in midway. So now guys, it's so, over uh, with my leg, yes. So the first thing I do, guys, I will track his leg because once I want to uh, counter it with stretching, I don't want him to cut loose and put his leg back on the floor and go back and re wrestle again, okay? Once I go uh, into uh, my stretching, uh, I want to achieve a couple of things. Oh, leg trap and wrist or sleep control. Okay, guys? And once I'm here, as I go down, I simply make a big step. That's what I've shot me. Just like that. There's contact between us constantly until he almost goes down, okay? And sometimes you can anticipate it and do it way faster. Just like that, sometimes can can. Now, this may look like your Uchimata Tsukashi. However, uh, there is some details to it that are added a little bit later. So the thing with Tsukashi, the basic form is that you simply move out of the way, letting your opponent hitting empty air and they end up throwing themselves. So here you see, you move a little bit to the side, sliding your foot backwards and then finishing the move with your own hands like a wheel. And of course, this is not the only way to do it. Of course, here you see the Korean Jun uh, with this superstar uh, judo production you see he keeps the foot hooked and then rides the throw in a sense using his hands to steer the motion and then it's a battle of sleeves and he rotated towards him here he keeps the leg of course this requires quite a bit of flexibility with this particular variation but nonetheless it is still counts as Uchimata Tsukashi and then you ride it as you steer with your hands to finish the movement. It is a quite of an interesting variation and uh, it requires a lot of risk. Now some of the people that are very known for this technique uh, it's Sasaki of course look at how he demonstrates his flexibility and removes his leg he doesn't keep it hooked so he drives with his hands and dives with his head very strongly and he's one of the best at this technique in my opinion look at that flexibility and reflex another one is Asvesta Sofia check out that flexibility a full split now what makes of Shag interesting or the stretchy is that they themselves can initiate it not only as a counter check it out mind-blowing execution uh and i've seen it done by uh Saiti, adam Saiti. so the position that we're in right uh like this 
Yes, guy had the wizard, right? Uh, I have the, what do you call the, uh, the wrist. Uh, he's got like a, a uchi, he's got an inside position. You know what I'm saying, guy? He's got an inside position, yes. And he can do inside trip or uchimata, anything on the inside. And uh, if I have faith in my hand control or sleep control and my flexibility, I can attack. All right, so Nick gets an attacking position. And I snatch his leg and go into stretch of my own. Not as a counter, but now as a offensive movement. Let's get stuck in his hip to hip position again. As soon as I want, we have inside position. As soon as I want to sleep, grab, lift, and stretch it. Hope you enjoy, guys. Shaggy, thank you very much. And uh, hopefully, see you next time. So here you see Adam Saitiev, the legendary wrestler. He hooks the leg and takes all the initiative. So it's no longer counts as a counter technique. However, when you can do a counter technique uh, from nothing, in my opinion, that requires a lot of creativity. So when you first look at it, you think it's Sukashi, but he initiates the whole action it's not only a counter of Uchimata at this point. Here, another example is this kid who initiates a Kawazu Gake, and then the other kid lifts him up for the stretchy. As you can see here, the ankle is hooked. And so he lifts it up, keeping connection with the leg, and then throws blue for a great uh, score. So one person comes to mind initiates this in judo is muneta so what he does is he hooks on to the leg here inoue is a specialist in uchimata knowing that he will do it so he can remove his leg and try to throw him for a sukashi so uh, in a way he baited him to do an uchimata so he can counter it this next one blew my mind it's a cross collar grip and a cross sleeve and what you do is drive with your hands like a wheel and with your head down it is definitely a teiwaza if i were to put it in the gokyo and here you see it's a great technique so crossing your hands and then drive down of course let's not forget the sleeve suplex where you weave the sleeve your elbow into the sleeve um, it's a bit uh, reminiscent of this old kata guruma where you throw using the perpendicular axis of the shoulders but you weave your elbow uh, in the sleeve weaving the elbow in it's not uncommon in judo it's done for tani otoshi usually but for this variation of kata guruma uh, hands down sambo is clearly uh, the one that's good at it now this final one here again from Ivan's channel it's this rolling o guruma so you set up an o guruma across the waist but instead of finishing the action with your hand you actually self sacrifice yourself in order to take them over and uh, it's like a scissor at the same time like a an o guruma with a makikomi form it's insane so this is your classical o guruma and what you see is you stretch your leg across the belt level and then you finish by driving your hands rotating them over your leg like a big wheel hence the name so uh, this is mainly it if you have anything to add let me know down below please check out sambo fusion's channel it will be uh, pinned in the comment this was shady and as always thank you for listening